Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to get uh, Japanese on your computer. You'll see down here at the bottom corner, I have English, but if I click on it, I can also go to Japanese. So I'll show you how it works. So this is the control panel. Uh, you want to get that up. Go to change keyboards or other input or just clock language region. Okay, if you go to clock language region, you'll get to this. So it'll automatically have you here. Click change keyboards. It'll bring this up. You'll see I already have it. Well, what if you don't? Here's what you do. Uh, you click Add. Scroll down to Japanese. Okay, so let's say you just scroll to it. Click it open. Go to Keyboard. Don't click Japanese. Click Microsoft IME. Click OK. I'm clicking Cancel because I already have it. And you should have it. Okay. So, and click OK for all these not cancel by the way. Okay, so now how does this work? Well, I'm in Japanese right now, so let's say I was in English. Flip over here to Japanese. So, first of all, input mode. Well, we can look at katakana first. So I can write my name. There's my name. Okay, that's katakana. You can click uh, enter or space. Enter will, uh, actually I should say, you can click enter to end it and to get to the next thing. Half width is what you'd expect. It's half width. Alphanumeric just means Roman uh, letters. But hiragana, this is the interesting one. So let's type in uh, something. Let's try kon. See, here's the interesting thing. There's two ends in this, kon nijiwa, right? But because in is also used for the in i in a on that whole line, you have to hit another letter button. I hit in to finish that, and then you type me. So basically, you're hitting in three times here in a row. Um, so call me she. You remember the wa in this is a particle, so it's actually ha, but that's okay. I'm just showing you what it is now. You can hit the space bar to change it to kanji. If you hit it again, it'll go through other things. In this one, there's really only one kanji for, you know, there, it couldn't be anything else, so it goes to that. Um, but if I typed in something else like, Arigato gozaimasu, okay? That is what I wanted. But, you can also have the ri there, it's also correct, so it could be that. And there are other guesses. Maybe it wants this instead. No, this is actually what it wants. So you hit enter. Or if you just, let's say you want to keep it in, um, in hiragana, you can just hit enter and it'll be like that. Okay? And don't worry if you hit spacebar, you can hit it again and link around and you'll be able to find it. Now, there's another really interesting feature. Oh, where is it? Just a moment. Okay, you want to put up the bar for this. Bring this up, the IME pad, and go to handwriting. So you have to have the full bar up for this. This is really cool. Let's say... I'm going, oh, I know this kanji. I just can't come up with what, how to pronounce it and I want to insert it. Guess what? It knows what you're doing and it'll tell you. Look, that's pronounced go. It's got um, it's got the lettering right there and it's got stuff below it for what else it could be, but generally it's pronounced go. So you click that, bam, there it is. So if you know how to draw something, but if you, you forget how to pronounce it, you can do it that way too. So, okay, well, I hope that you had no problems with that, and uh, enjoy in the future.